Hey, what's up all my fellow medical marijuana patients, medical marijuana growers, home growers, and straight up potheads. This is Sabuna, thanks for tuning into my channel, 420 Nug Grows. And in this episode, um, it's just basically an update with uh, uh, new equipment. I got my trellis in here. Uh, I'm going to knit up my stuff today. Um, I also got some liquid cool bloom because in a few weeks I am going to be flipping these after they start to grow up through my trellis, my netting here. Um, so today that's what we're going to be doing. And to show you what they look like after about, what, two, three days? Two days after I lollipop them up here. Uh, I didn't go to a severe lollipopping to where I took them all the way up to the tippy tips. I left probably about two inches. So you can see here, about two inches to an inch, you know of growth on the tops here uh, only because when I got now that I got my trellis I'm gonna bend this one see like these I'm gonna bend them over inside that trellis to low stress train them so this top could come up so I can just so all the tops can come up this one can turn up I'm gonna have the net really low here and then I might have another one above it so when they come up and the buds and the coals get there the netting will hold them and support them so I'm gonna get this ready to put up and <clears throat> once I get it in there about halfway, I'm going to show you, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put it in there all the way and then I'm going to trim it up. So I'm going to pause it, I'm going to come back, I'm going to pause it, I'm going to come back. I'm a one-man crew trying to do the best I can. But let's take a little look at these ladies first. So these are the animal cookies here. Uh, this one here, I went ahead and I bent the tops right here. You can see this one here. It was sticking up like this, and I bent it over, right, let me see if this will zoom in a little bit better, but I bent it right here, so but it, it is bent over, you know, that, that's really bent over, you can see it, and I also bent this one over here too, really bent over, so I'm trying to get this inner stuff here to come up, because this is very, it only has two tops on it right now, with one, two, three, four tops on it right now that I think are gonna produce nice buds but I want to get more and this is much lower than this one so when it comes up even more and I in, into the trellis so I can a little stress train it it'll be much farther better off than these ones I want to train them as much because I started early um, these ones I started late because I had if you go look at my videos I had a ton of problems the first month you know they weren't growing good I had issues issues and that's just from going to be an outside gardener to an inside gardener you make a lot of rookie mistakes just because you know how to grow outside don't mean you know what you're doing inside trial and error you know but if you go and you look I like I like the structure of the plant I really do the nodes, they did start to stretch once I dialed in my newts, and now they've, they've shortened up. You can see right here. They've shortened up from here. There's a huge gap here, and then there's another huge gap, and then they get they start stacking really nicely right here. So they had a nice growth spurt. This one over here, you can see it a little better right there. See? From there to there to there to there. But they're, they're pretty good. They're not really, really gappy. But they're looking good. So hopefully this right here, when I start doing it, like this one here, I left those tops there because they're coming because I'm going to bend this one I'm trying to bend it back this way so it cut oops I'm going to try to bend it back this way towards me more so it comes back when I put the netting on so but look at just want to run through look at and show you it's all pretty good it's coming back even faster than I thought already like some of these leaves are really small like this one here this was a really small leaf when I cut it two days ago. Like, bam! It's like, shit, I need leaves. So, it's growing. So I got it up, the net, so now I'm gonna put it on. A nice, there we go. A nice little aerial view. It would've been really full and bushy, but since I lollipopped them up, it looks pretty thin. All right, so let me put you on hold and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. So. This is what I got so far. Um, I went through, it was a little tricky having my lights and everything on here. Much easier when you don't have your, your tent already set up. But this is what I got so far. I got a 4x8 net. Uh, so I could cut this in half and have this first one laying down on top. And I'm going to have another one above it 
to hold the colas and stuff up but this is basically what you got to do if your tin is up you got to unzip it around so here we go so we can lift these up and then get them in there and put them on you got to be careful because you got your lights you got your fan your filter your fan uh, all your wires your other circulating fans your hoses you just got to be a little tricky and then if you got plants in there already you got to be really tricky because you don't want the net to fall on it and then you go to pull the net which I almost did and pull out a whole plant like I almost almost jacked my shit up so you got to be careful so now what you're going to do after you get all four corners in there you got to go through and, and, and trim it up get this other shit get trim this shit up so it's nice and neat trim this up here make sure you get all the way down otherwise your net's going to be kind of jacked all right so that's pretty much it for this right here uh let me put you on hold uh, i'll trim it up and then i'll show you what it looks like when it's done trimmed up okay so this is what it looks like all nice and trimmed up there's nothing more hanging it's nice and trim nice and tight stretched out through the whole tent that's how you want it now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lower this net I mean you don't even have to zip tie it or nothing you just lower this net to where you want it we want it pretty low we want it as low as the tallest ones in here all right and you see what it's doing over there already it's already smashing them and spreading them out so what I'll have to do is I'll probably have to go through here and trim up some more so the more of these tops can turn up Let's see if I can find one in here like this one right here so more of these tops right here can turn up and start sprouting through there like that you see this one dangling through that's what i want i want these tops to come up these side shoot tops to come up kind of like this up into the next netting which i'll have about right here because look at i got i got limited space where my hand is so my other netting is going to be somewhere about right here no actually i'll probably do it lower than that probably about right here and then once these more of these shoots start coming up like this after I low stress train them and they stop popping up and they're probably about that tall I'm gonna throw it into flower because from here to there that's what three and a half feet maybe four foot from there to there to that light because I got it all the way at the top I'll probably even rig it up so it's even higher up like that boom when I, when I get it you know I got a couple inches to play with over there but that's what that's what you're gonna do so you're gonna go through like I let I put it down let's see it needs to go down a couple inches more about an inch more I want it low that's why it's called low stress train keep them low all right so something about like that you can see it goes up over there because of that so what you want to do is you want to take all these branches try to do it here without moving the camera too much and as they grow, spread them out. See? Spread them out. Like this one over here. Spread them out. And if they're long enough, you can take it out of here. Wrap it around that one. So it comes out over here. Alright? Now, I don't want it to really go much farther than that. Because it's going to start going into these other ones. So I'm going to have wait for this. I'm, not gonna, I'm probably going to top it. Oops, sorry about that. Probably gonna top it so this stuff could come over here and just start sprouting upwards. That's basically what you want to do. That one over there, this one, we could roll it under or over and have it going this way. Push these ones that way. Um, I want these ones to come this way. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably take this one out and I'll see if I can get you guys there low stress train it that way so it comes up over here all right like that you know it looks like shit right now but in a couple of days these things are gonna start turning upward and these shoots are gonna start firing firing upwards and you're gonna see a huge huge difference want that to come over there these are gonna go over there these are gonna come over here you know some people be like why are you handling it like that like why are you just being so rough man they're weed plants man they can take it man like are you serious you know they're cool 
you know and the ideal thing is to wrap it around and have them come out so they can't pop back up but you kind of get the meaning right this one's there have it there this one has a lot of shoots already coming up right there you know so what I'll probably do is I'm gonna go through with these ones that are here I'm gonna top them so I get two more shoots or film them so I get four more shoots that come up all right and that's pretty much it you know I might even take it down a little bit lower and try to get it even lower and then come through here and clean it up so that's pretty much it guys um, I'm going to probably pause it here and I'm gonna put the other netting up I'm gonna show you about like what, what I was really talking about give me a minute all right and there we go I got the second netting up as you can see uh, look at how far I bent those down look at that they're probably about six inches tall now and they were about a foot and probably about a foot and an inch you know 13 inches tall so I cut them down about halfway not cut them down but stress trained them down as you can see right here I bent some down I bent a few over same with this one that one over there I kind of broke one uh, I forgot to pinch it right here I forgot to pinch it right here before I bent it and I went to go bent it and bam, it snapped so what I did was I just cut, made a clean cut I trimmed it up and then I went and I put it in the in the cloning bucket over there to see if it's male or female my little experiment I got going on which in a week I will uh, have the results for you all right see there I just missed another one right there so it can stay down um, gotta try to get these to kind of spread out a little bit I'm gonna I'm probably gonna bend a couple more but I got a couple of these coming up so I'm gonna let them come up a little bit and then I'm gonna bend them down I bent one right here uh, I twisted this one around um, I'm gonna, gonna get some of these when they get longer I'm gonna bend them down oops sorry about that some of these over here when they get longer I'm gonna bend them down over here um, that's pretty much it I'm probably gonna end up vegging these out for I don't know another three or four weeks so I can get some height a uh, little bit of height I want to get about this tall which might not even take three or four weeks I mean the, the way they're growing now man they're growing pretty good so as you can see, I took my canopy. It was about two and a half, three inches thick, and I condensed it down to about an inch right here. So we're gonna get all this stuff is gonna turn up, and man, I keep putting the camera. Sorry, all this stuff's gonna turn up, and then it's gonna start growing up, and then that's when I'm gonna bring this netting down. I don't know, probably to about there. So it's gotta grow. You know, about halfway between there, and then I'll start flowering, and then it should, you know two to three times the size depending and I'm gonna double the light because right now I just got the one Mars Hydro uh, 300 watt LED full spectrum going on on these now that's just one growing these growing pretty good after I got the newts dialed in so that pretty much does it that's how you put one of these in um, this is real easy if you just put it on there you can slide it up and down some people use zip ties but man that makes it even harder because then it's hard to make them go up and down they hold, they're strong, sturdy. This was only about 450, you know, at the hydro store. I mean, and look at look at look at what it's done. Low stress trained. My plants. I don't know how many colas I'm gonna get out of this now, but I'm hoping it's it's a nice, nice good amount. You know, I want this to be a sea a sea a sea of green colas just all sticking up on top of this. So we'll see what happens. Uh, please like comment subscribe and share down below I'm trying to hit at least a hundred subscribers before I harvest help me out here any comments I'm welcome to you're welcome to leave them I'm love open criticism you know no criticism I can't learn so let me know uh, if you see anything I'm doing wrong let me know if I can improve on this uh, give me props uh, ask questions and I'll let you I'll answer them to the best of my ability Alright, 420 Nug Grows, I'm out.